Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, here's our project for today is that we are going to put a new put a sump pump in here, run it up here and take it outside. This has never had one in it and they want to put one in. So we got the sump pump here, got the check valve, got the pipe. Oh, of course, we got the glue and the cleaner. And we need some elbows. There's our elbows. So we're going to get going on this thing and uh, start putting her together. And I'm going to bring you along. All right, now we can determine. I know the video stopped on me for some reason. I stuck uh, this rod down in there and, this, and then I put it here. Stuck that rod down there and see where I want it because I want it at the top of here come up to be about two foot so let's cut let's have your two foot for this like that. so I stuck the rod down in there and measured up about where I wanted it and then I stuck it against here and figured out that it was two foot is what I needed now you can make it longer and always cut it off later back over here. Let's go ahead and put this thing in there. Now I got my handy dandy screwdriver here. Freebie from Harbor Freight. They're good for something. Sometimes. Freebie from Harbor Freight. Okay, let's tighten it up. pull this off. Now what I said in the other video, and I'll show you, I'm going to have to get a, uh, a disconnect. And I got to get my zip ties. If I can zip tie this on here. Sewer. Okay. Now let's put this over the top. There we go. That'll help hold some stuff, you know? Well, there we go. Got that. Hopefully you can see that over there. Let me get you a little closer here. All right. Now... adjustment was a little high. I want to cut it off here because I want it as low as possible. So um, but I might change that because I'm going to cut this later. I'm going to get all this on here and put a, uh, a rubber boot between here and here because you want to be able to pull this off. There I'll put it up there. I'm not sure which one. 
Um, I might put it over here, the rubber boot. We'll see how it runs. Yeah, because then you can swing it out of the way. Rubber boot over here, and then, yeah, if I could put it here, it might work best. Because then you can uh, take the rubber boot off and then pull it off and be able to um, service this thing. So we might go ahead and do that. I think they're about this big, those rubber boots. I'm thinking. So I can cut about, you know, this much off, but I don't, I don't want to cut it there. But I do want about that much off. My phone, it gets on my last nerve because it gets to five minutes and it dies. Don't know why. Well, I'll just deal with it now. All right, we got to get this going up and out. Put that as close as we can. Uh, so we're looking at something about like that. Let's cut right there. This scuzz bucket. You don't want this scuzz bucket leaking on you. This thing will send water everywhere. Let's make sure we get a good seal on everything. Let it dry for a bit. And I'm going to put this one on first. Now, this don't have to be pretty, but I like to make it look the best possible, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's make it look halfway decent, because uh, this is a house getting sold, and this is one thing that needs to be done, so there's going to be people looking at it, so you don't want to look all nasty. Right there, see how I got this shooting straight up? So what else? All right, now. This is going up. And you see it, don't reach. Whoops, you don't see that. Oh, sorry guys, let's get you up here. So as you see it, don't reach. Because it, I need a longer one. Let me pull you back. Okay, so we got to go out up here. Left me in here. Let me put something underneath this. Keep that at about the right level. So we're going to tie it to the wall here. All right. Right there about where that pipe's going to go. So I want to be up about... I say about 90. Something there. I'm saying about 90. Okay. So then we're going to go down and cut this. Full pipe. We're going to do about 90. pretty good uh, I think so but I'm going to cut it just a hair farther okay. one thing if you got gloves you can clean this up without worrying about hurting yourself 
Okay, we're going to dry fit it. So let's put that on there. And then let's go. Let me get you backed up here so you can see something. We're going to put it in there. Let's see what it looks like up there. bringing you guys along we're gonna go outside and see it's getting ready to die on me we're gonna go outside and see where we I want to come out between a lap on the siding out there so I'm gonna go out there and drill a hole and then I'll tell me where to put it so now I know where everything's at here uh, coming off this wall I'll get my tape measure. Huh? Let me pause you. Okay, so I'm going to come about six inches from the edge there over. I think will be pretty good. So we're going to go outside now and check it out. Okay, so we roughly got probably four inches for brick. Four inches for brick. We got inch and a half for that. So that's probably gonna put us right about here. So if we go six over, um, we're looking right about there, which I'm gonna have to go over seven to make sure we don't interfere with the gutter there. So right there is where I'm gonna put it. It's gonna come out right about here, the pipe, the inch and a half pipe. So I'll get the hose saw and drill the hole. All right, got the hole put in there. Put my pipe in there. And uh, I stood it up there and measured it. Now you want it like this. You want it to be so the water's not gonna sit in the pipe here. So tilt it up just a hair so it runs out. Now I cut this. Let's, uh, let me put you in the stand here. You can see what's hopefully, hopefully you can see what's going on. Uh, okay, let's see, hopefully, ain't much room in here. So I got this put in here. Put, well, put yourself inside there. There we go. Drop it. I think that's going to go down in there a little farther, so I think we'll be fine. So, see down here. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Put the cleaner on here. that put in there and see that up there that might be a little too steep but this is it I can adjust down there here um, Yeah, that'll work. I 
think that'll work. I just water water's here, I want it to run out so they don't freeze up on us. Let me see that again. Boom. Yeah. I think that's gonna work. Alright, so let's uh, pull this pipe down. Let's clean it both sides. Clean this up here. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh let's get this stuff on. How about that? And it's gonna stop. All right, plugged her in. She worked, and there was no water coming out anywhere. That's a good point. So let's go outside. All right, you can see where it shot out to there. So probably what I'm going to do is bring this down, elbow this, and come down and shoot it like into this with this probably turn it and shoot it into that so that thing goes out that way or down and out something so it'll get it out of there so there's that all right let me bring it back in all right now we got that all plugged up uh it'd been nice if this was closer these wires, you know, let me back that up. Be nice if this was over here. So I'm going to try to attach this to this to this and get it over there as far as possible to keep it out of the way. But uh, that's about got her there. I am going to put, like I said, I'm going to put that a joint in there. Uh, I might not. I might just leave it that light way. But uh, that's a way of putting a sump pump in there where there was no sump pump. <laughs> so there it is. So hopefully this helps somebody that wants to do it themselves. And uh, hey, smash the notification. We always got something coming in this channel. I'm gonna put some seal it, some silicone around that outside to keep stuff from coming in. We'll put the insulation back up and uh, we'll get her together. All right, everybody, take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching. Good day.